Within the enormous masses of video games exists one very special game. A game where you can harass people and cause havoc with no human consequences. This game is the Goose Game. The Untitled one to be specific. Untitled Goose Game is a treasure. Never before have I played a game with relaxing music, nice sound effects, a nice satisfying checklists with your tasks neatly laid out for you, and at the exact same time incredibly stressful and pushing me to the peak of my anxiety. No amount of therapy will heal me from my experience. So naturally, I have to make a YouTube video about this, because that's what all the cool kids do these days. Uh, and they also tell you to subscribe. Subscribe now and smash that like button. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the game. The basics of Untitled Goose Game is that you are a goose. I also didn't see that one coming. You're given a little tutorial stage at the beginning that teaches you the basic controls of the game and I'm not even coordinated enough for this so I immediately failed. So I traveled across the pond and met my first victim, the gardener. Poor chap just wants to tend to his crops and have a relax Sunday, but I have ulterior motives. I am a goose in this game after all. Do you have any idea what happens inside a goose's head? I can't find the empathy either. The tasks throughout each area are pretty much the same. You have tasks which test your ability to harass the locals, pull off some tricks, discover secrets through problem solving, stealth missions, and a little mini collectathon task. In the garden, the tasks were pretty easy. I mean, one of them was literally get into the garden, so I did just that. I then decided to steal some of his crops and personal belongings to make a little picnic for myself, which he then took back in the middle of my picnic. What the heck? Here I am trying to have a nice time with my friends, chip, penny, and used napkin and you're just here to ruin it all. Jeez. After I did enough messing around gaslighting the gardener, he eventually figured out I was causing all of his peril and put up a no goose sign, which I then stole. I carried the anti-goose propaganda all the way to town, where I then picked up a jar and terrified this kid who's terrified of geese, the perfect victim. I scared him into the telephone booth, which wasn't a good idea because then he just called the cops, so I had to move fast. The fuzz will be looking for me any minute now. I found a little market that had a bunch of goodies being sold and so I went shopping and stole a bunch of things, put them in my cart and carried on. The boy was playing with a toy plane so I untied his laces and then he fell down. His glasses flew off and then I stole the toy plane. I had a task which was make someone buy their own stuff, so yep, I took the toy plane and I put it up for sale. He then tried to take it back, you know, because it was his, but the market owner scolded him and made him pay for it anyway. Anyways, God, I love this game. I did some more menacing goose activities before finally locking the storekeeper and the boy in the garage and then leaving to my next location, which was someone's backyard. Here I stole a man's slipper and then his newspaper and then everything else he owns. Next door there was a lady making some artwork so I messed with her a little bit too. I disguised myself as a duck, specifically as the duck statue that she owned. She caught me pretty quick though. Anyways, I got them to destroy an award winning rose which I relished in, and then I soon evacuated the crime scene. After a long trek back into town, I finally made it to the pub. Okay, so this place almost broke me. Getting into the pub was a feat. You see, I, a goose, couldn't just walk in. I have no ID, but I found another way. You see, there's a delivery driver nearby, so I ducked into this box here and simply waited until the delivery person carried me into the premises. I was in and ready to wreck the place. I actually started my infiltration by performing for tips. I was then awarded with a flower. Thank you, kind patron. I then began to hoard things. I needed a knife, fork, a plate, some pepper, and a candle. Perfect dinner setup for a distinguished goose such as myself. I did my rounds and acquired the items. Once I was finally done, there was no dinner, just an empty plate. I guess I'll go get drunk then. Stealing a pint glass and then dropping it into the canal was my next task, and I'd be lying if I didn't say this was the task that took me the longest time to complete. Like in the whole game. They only have them in this courtyard dining area, and there's a lady here who 
will usher me out of the place right on sight. She's really onto it, so I had to come up with a strategy. After a much needed deliberation with myself, I discovered that if I crawl under the tables, then I will go unnoticed. So I just have to crawl my way in, grab the glass, and then crawl out. Simple. Well, no, not simple, actually. I kept getting caught a bunch of times, and around the fifth attempt, I was losing hope. But Goose God came down from the heavens and told me, Young Goose, you're better than this. Move on. Be free. Live a life free of crime. You don't need material goods to make your life complete. Go be one with nature. Goose Satan told me to grow up and get my head back in the game. So I tried again, and oh, 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 I got the glass. Oh, and then I broke it. It's okay, we did it in the next try. Never give up, gooselings. The last thing I had left to do was steal a bunch of tomatoes and then sprawl them out in the concrete. I then lured the bouncer out back to see the mess I made and dropped a bucket on his head. He then landed on the tomatoes and had to throw them out. I used the open skip to get out of the pub. I will not miss you. Goodbye forever, losers. I'm finally here. The last location. A mini town. Okay. Okay, not gonna lie, this place is really kind of creepy. It's like a miniature version of the locations we visited alongside the game. I knew I was at the end from this alone. At the end was a mini castle with a bell. After a few pecks, the castle collapsed and the bell was released. I then had a new to-do list item. Now what could this be? So first I had to get into the model village, then steal the beautiful miniature golden bell and, uh, and take it all the way back home so I guess I'll be going back to the pub. Just when I thought I had got out of the thick of it, I am faced with the most challenging stealth task I've ever done in a video game. Not kidding. I don't play stealth games for the very reason being, I hate them. They stress me out way too much and well... Don't tell me I like lose if I can't make it back. I've gotta make it all the way back. <laughs> So I gotta make it all the way back. Oh my god, stop, don't ring. How in the world am I supposed to do this? Oh my god, no. I don't even remember how to get back. Everyone tries to stop you. Oh my god, they're all on the lookout. Oh my god, I don't wanna do it. <laughs> oh my god. No, 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 no. Get it back. No! Why can't I run? Ugh, stop it! Give me the bell, you bitch. Okay, apologies. Oh, this is so stressful. You've got to be kidding me. Do I have to, do I have to swim in the, oh, stop. Stop. Oh, what way do I go? Ah, uh, let me run. Ugh. Oh, I thought she took the bell for a second. How do I get out of here? I don't wanna, I, don't, I wanna like avoid the confrontation. Let me run, let me run. <sighs> I hate this. I'm actually having fun, but I'm stressed to the max here. Oh my God. Go time. Hey. Run! <laughs> run! Oh my God. Give me that. Fuck sex. This is so stressful. Give me- oh my god. Give me the bell! <laughs> Give me the bell! I'm supposed to go up there, I think. Up that gate. Why? Dead ends. Fine. I'll come with you. How do I do this? <laughs> my bell! Oh, it's shit everywhere. I'm stressed. Why? <laughs> I'm, okay, just fucking put it somewhere then. Don't do this to me. No, no! <laughs> oh my god. My bell. Ah, oh, fuck, I don't want your keys. I need to figure out how I got here in the first place. I'm so close, I'm so close. You can come to my picnic. Run, 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 run. Just give me the bell. I just want the bell. Oh. oh my God. Oh my God. What a mission. <laughs> oh my God.
I'm glad that this is the game that makes you swear. It's these kinds of games. Anything to do with, like, stealth. I just... No. This was not your regular Kaifa programming. I made it. I finally made it back to my goose home. Oh, goose home, how I missed you. While it was fun traveling into town and terrorizing the locals, I can't say I'm willing to put myself through all of that again. Even though I was a force to be reckoned with, behind the screen I was a hot mess. Not much brings me to toxic gamer rage, but I think this game finally did it. I really did enjoy this game, however, and there actually is more to do in the post game, so who knows? Maybe one day I will return to the village and next time I will be more ready than ever before. Hi, remember me? It's the person that's been away for two months without a word. I'm very sorry, I haven't like done a single- well, I've done two Twitch streams. One for my birthday and like a random one I did a couple weeks ago, but I have been kind of away from the internet for a while. Uh, just needed a little break, nothing too serious. But I'm back now and I'm getting back into the swing of things and I'm really enjoying making content again. So I hope you subscribe and join me for the ride. Uh, I want to give a huge thank you to my friend Jamie. Jamie bought me this game um, and I honestly, like, I couldn't thank him enough. It's It's been a really fun time playing it, even though I'm super stressed out when I do play it, but it's so much fun. So yeah, thank you, Jamie. Say thank you, Jamie, in the comments, um, please. <laughs> and yeah, I'm gonna return to Twitch soon, so please go follow my Twitch if you are keen on seeing those. I'm gonna be returning with a LeChonk shiny hunt in Pokemon Scarlet when that releases either next week or I'll do it the week after. Um, depends how long it takes me to get through the game because I'm going to play that solo first. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you're excited for future videos. Love you. Stay well and I'll see you on Twitch hopefully. Bye bye.